Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to submit a form to a PHP file. Basically, if you have a form which looks like this, for example, it has a first name and a field and a save button. Uh, when you hit the save button, basically, it will not do anything. It will just stay there or it will just call the same URL and pass it on with some parameters. That is not what we want. We want this information to be sent to some another file or another location where it could be saved into some database or used for something else so in this tutorial i'm going to say send this information to a php file you could also send it to a asp file or jsp or whatever technology you're using but i'm going to send this form to php file this form basically has uh, one control which is the first name and input type is uh, for that is text uh, that means I can write the text and then there's one button and now I have to add certain parameters to the form so if you don't know what this whole structure is please watch my other video on how to add form and controls to HTML document the links I have given below so I would add a parameter to this form tag called as action and I would give it this action a value for example form submit dot php so basically this is a php file that is uh, located right in the same folder as uh, the form dot html so I'm going to submit this form values to form submit dot php and then I'm going to output them so that you can see whether we have uh, received the right value from the form or not so basically the flow is a user enters this website of yours types in the first name click save and then his name is uh, displayed onto the uh, next page or, the, or on the same page so let us see how to do that so we have given action as form submit dot php we give method as post a little bit about this later on okay fine so that completes our form now if we run this form we'll submit it we will find that this information will be sent to form submit dot php where we can just echo this output this would be saved in the variable called as dollar underscore post of php and it is kind of an array so this can be easily accessed by dollar underscore post and the two square brackets one opening and one closing and giving the name of the text field that we are trying to uh, get the information which is first name so we'll use a single quote two single quotes and we'll place our information right in here we save it what happens is that when I load this file and I press and I enter some value in first name and then I press submit button it goes to the form and uh, form submit dot PHP and then it echoes the first name we can add some more information you have entered So this will uh, output you have entered and the first name. Let us see if it works like that or not. So if I go to this file and I load it and if I enter a name for example John and I press save. Now upon saving this should go to this form submit.php and it should, so it should say that you entered first name as John so let us click on the save button and as you can see the form submit dot PHP has been called and the first name has been entered and you have entered and then colon and then the name of that uh, text field that you have input and when you press save this name has been transferred here so basically these uh, names that you give here right here 
are all stored in the post like this so if you have another name then it will be have uh, it will be like post under uh, post square bracket and then uh, the the single quote and then another name or middle name or last name or something like that now about post and get if you make it get this information will be added to the url of the form submit.php so when we run this program once again we'll find that instead of right now the url is something like this we cannot see it but i'll just show it to you the url looks something like this when i add the get and when i submit the form this first name and its value would be appended to this PHP file as first name equal to whatever name you give for example John or something and this would not be available in the dollar post variable instead it will be available in the dollar get variable so we'll just replace it by dollar get and we have already changed the method to get let us see what happens We'll run this file once again. So this time I use Bob and save this file. So as you can see that the URL is now like this. So both of these uh, values, not only the not only the first name but also the submit value have been formed into a, a parameters of the get and now they are uh, introduced after a question mark and separated by and so this gets stored in the dollar underscore get and not dollar underscore post and we get information about first name so if you use dollar underscore post we might get an error because dollar underscore post is empty so that is primarily difference between dollar uh, get and the post and that is how you add a form and then submit it to php you can uh, since the form submit is in uh, same directory as the form.html you don't need to add any path related information or not but this in, instead if it was in your own site then you could do something like this also so basically it needs to submit to a php document which will uh, process it this is a very very simple uh, document we have not not done any error checks or something like that but it gives you a good idea of how to use a form with php I hope you like it. If you have any question, do let me know by comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Goodbye.